Hello Physics Nation, my name is Nate Larmond and I'd like to do a Khan Academy problem from Conservation of Energy, Predict Changes in Energy. So unless an outside force does work on a system, energy is conserved. That is, the total amount of energy remains unchanged. You know, mass is conserved, momentum is conserved, and energy is conserved. So we're going to keep track of three types of energy. K stands for kinetic energy, moving energy, one half mv squared. Gravitational potential energy is mg delta h. And u sub s is the spring potential energy, or one half kx squared. Uh, let's see the scenario. A cart is pushed into a short spring and then released from rest. The cart follows the pathway shown in the diagram below and passes through positions one through four. The spring only touches the cart at the first position. The cart has no height at position three. And the cart reaches a maximum height at the last position. The height of the cart, the height of zero, y equals zero, is marked on the diagram below. That's right there. There's no significant friction within the car or between the car and the track. So that's what I'm saying. Friction would be an external force to the system. And, you know, if it's moving to the left, friction acts to the right. That means friction would do negative work and actually steal the uh, energy from the system. It would become heat, sound, and vibration. Uh, but <laughs> that's a later conversation. That's called a non-conservative force. You can't get heat, sound, and vibration back. But the elastic potential energy, the spring potential energy, you can get back. So you coil the spring and, you know, because of the change in shape, it can do work. You have to do work to change the shape of the spring. You have to apply a force through a distance. And that means something about the spring has changed. Uh, you can get energy back. It'll push on the cart. So it's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. You just go through their little checklist and you say, how, is there kinetic energy? No? Well, then no check. Is there gravitational potential energy? Well, there is at point one because it's above the minimum height. Okay, this is the change in height. It's the height of this little ramp right here. So you check that. There is gravitational potential energy at stage one, and there's also spring potential energy because this is compressed away from its equilibrium position. So you just check these little boxes. Uh, it has two out of three forms of energy at one. And let's just keep on going. So no more spring compression. But it still is above its minimum height. And it's moving now. All right. So we were at V equals zero. There was no kinetic energy at position one. But the spring pushed it. The spring did work on it. So we had a gain in kinetic energy and a loss of spring potential energy. So because there's no friction, as much energy as the spring lost, the kinetic energy of the cart increased because there was no change in height. All right, so that's point two. Let's check out point three. Um, it's moving. In fact, it's moving its fastest, but now we no longer have gravitational potential energy. So the change in gravitational potential energy, this drop right here, will increase the kinetic energy from point two. In fact, the amount of change in kinetic energy is equal to the amount of change in gravitational potential energy. So now we have no gravitational potential energy because we are at the origin or the basement or, you know, this arbitrary zero height that we've chosen. Obviously, no spring is compressed, and we go to four, where they tell us there is no kinetic energy, but it's at its highest position. So we have the maximum gravitational potential energy. And uh, you ready? Ready for the confetti? Hey, there you go. Show summary. Three out of four. Yeah, well, happens to the best of us. Um, <laughs> when Khan says keep going, keep growing, that means do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.